Hello, peeps. Welcome to one of the most uninteresting videos in your entire life. <laughs> Where <laughs> I decided to get the guy that I totally am better than, 100%. And just, <laughs> just putting it out there. Uh, Mr. Kelp. And uh, we're going through this uh, tier list. And we're just going to admire the fact that these are ugly placed in order just down here. And we're going to properly place them up here you know we're gonna play we're basically we're just okay we're just we're just gonna list every single weapon as what we believe mostly kelp actually what kelp believes is requires skill versus brain dead and of course you also get your opinion yes and probably like a few weapons and when i say a few i mean more specifically this forbidden weapon <laughs> But we're gonna oh get God. to that later. Anyways, where should we start? From the top or from the bottom? Honestly, I don't care. Like, <laughs> okay, let's make it even <laughs> uglier. We're making it prettier right now. Mix up the charges a bit. We're making it prettier. Oh my God, it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hate it, but it's okay. Wait a second. second. What? Where the Sheldon fix weapon? Frick, this is the wrong <laughs> tier! <laughs> Alright, now, Splattershot Jr. I don't know about you, but I feel like we can sort of agree it's somewhere up here. You feel okay. me? Okay. I do want to say something about it, honestly, and keep in mind, this is coming from, like, a complete, like, by the way, for, like, for the, <laughs> for the 5% of you that probably don't know, I am, in fact, a Splatoon 2 competitive player and probably ongoing, so I feel like I would have, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like whenever, like whenever you're putting these weapons into like a genuine competitive scene, I feel like I would have more like general exper experience, kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah. With it, so in my opinion, I find it literally average. Really? Yes, because actually, no. Put it up one. <laughs> maybe you need to maybe on your brain. maybe turn on your brain. Okay. Because. All Junior does, it paints the map, it spams armor, it spams bombs, and the only reason why it's not in you don't need your brain to win is because there are those few times that you are in those 1v1 situations where you might have to like know how to aim, at least in my opinion, because Junior, it doesn't really have like... It doesn't have like the best amount of RNG, but it's enough to like... If you if you can aim, it's enough to like save you, you know. Oh yeah. All so right. like I feel like that's why it doesn't like, you know, it, you need some brain cells, you know. Anyways, but air spray MG. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about okay. you, but like, <clears throat> I want to hear your I want to hear your thoughts first. Now, this is coming from someone who is somewhat the opposite of you. Somewhat like he he's attempting to play competitively, but mostly plays casually or just goes to solo queue. And for the record, because I'm that guy, maybe this is just me. Actually, hmm. When I think about it, specifically MG, maybe you need to turn on your brain. Maybe. I only say MG because this weapon has suction bomb. And unlike this thing, for example, where I would just put it up here, um, suction bomb is not a just a uh, ha ha he he bomb. It's a uh, you know throw just, it anywhere. Yeah, it's throw it anywhere strategically. And also, it has curling bomb launcher. You're not just gonna just go roam around the area and just you know turn into this. You have to like actually do something <laughs> with it. That's what I yeah. think about MG. At least for me. Aerospray, as the MG, has like pretty much the exact same job as Junior, except it has curling bombs and suck bombs. Its RNG is a lot worse than Junior, so um, I'd say it's fine where it's at right now. 
But, like, you're still just literally painting the map. Yeah. So, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you have PG. Now, I don't want to be that guy. There's something about people that are just up here. Okay, no, honey. No. Really? No. No. You have burst bombs on aerospray? PG for a reason. That thing cannot kill whatsoever. Therefore, you need to actually use your burst bombs if you're in a 1v1 situation. Like, strategically. Sure, you have Guya spam and like other stuff like that, and that's what makes it like, you know, like, you're, like you're, you're literally pumping out Booyahs, and Booyah can paint the map pretty much really nicely. And it really goes like well. Like, painting specials, all the specials with Aerospray, they fit it really well because they paint the map really well. But none of them have, like, any- they don't have, like, any, like, aggression opportunities because their sub isn't aggressive. Like, you have Suck Bomb, what are you gonna do with that? You're gonna, like, you know? You have Sprinkler, what are you gonna do with that? And then you have Burst Bomb. Ah. So you have you have more aggressive opportunities to like do something, especially if you're like with a teammate and you're like pushing up. I see. Okay. It might be one of those but things. Still right. the map. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Octo Shot, AK10 attack. Honestly, I'm really going for this area, but it might be like it's either you want to be that guy. Or literally anyone else. You get me? You feel me? Yeah. Um, for me, at least, it's pretty hard to use, especially since you don't have, like... First off, it has 22, uh, two, uh, 220 points for inkjet without any special charge. Oh, yeah. The special charge on 10 attack is very, like, unheard of. It's not, like... You know, it's not used a lot. Like the only the only person I've ever seen it used is literally me. But that's because I can. I'm not using it for like any general. Yeah. Splash compared to it is so much better because it has paint. It has no jump RNG. It doesn't have any RNG to begin with, actually. And at least vanilla splash, it has 170 points for inkjet. You can pump those out so much in a battle, it's just... And especially since you have Inkjet on the weapon, that requires a, like, skill. Like, you, like if you're going to use Inkjet, you are going to need at least some amount of skill, at least to, like, blow stuff up, you know? That is true. Anyways, K-Gal. Everyone's favorite, least favorite, most hated, super favorite. Honestly? Actually, no, I want to hear your thoughts first. I kind of want to put it up here. Or maybe at fair. the- if I want to be fair to it, here. But for the most part, here. Because- Fair. The, thanks to MPU, it barely has any art. And I mean, you can- I'm pretty sure you can s just see it. Just mid-battle. 80% of the time. Since because they have no RNG, half of the time they don't actually look at you and they still kill you either way. This is what they do. Run to you, throw a wall, shoot at you, probably win because, you know, freaking 52 damage. And then, you know, Booyah Bomb at like 180 points, just spam that. They spam Booyah Bomb maybe even faster than Aerospray PG. Especially since it did get the little buff. Yeah, and it got a and painting me. buff. I don't know. I, I can definitely see why someone would want to put it here, but I think it's here. Because, ooh, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, you can just be asleep and win with this weapon. <laughs> I literally swear. Someone probably I... did it out there, and I want to bet someone really did. Anyways, uh, unless you have your opinion on it, or... I, I do. I have many opinions. Oh, goodness. So, Gal RNG in general, crap. It sucks. Which is exactly why Kgal got the wall. Because your RNG sucks. And you need, like, some time to be able to, like, you know, hit those two shots. But you could just still throw out a wall regardless. Yeah. But, however, it is overrated, especially in competitive. Because its job is to control space. 
which is probably why it got its painting buff anyway. Its job is to control space where your team needs it the most. Don't quote me on that, but like, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't play Kago. Um, it has a wall to like, make sure people don't push, especially in zones as like mainly in zones. If you're like, if you're controlling the zone, you wall people out so that they can't push the zone, which is exactly why you have 52 damage per shot. You keep them from like pushing you back. But, um, my brain died. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Crap. I mean, it's almost like four in the morning for you, so that might happen every now and then for you. Well, while his brain is dead, uh, my opinion is valid, so that's why it's up here. <laughs> <laughs> its job is to control space, which is why its uh, damage is so hot. And plus it has a wall because, like, you know, you don't have to, like, you, like, you, you can't let them push your zone. Or, like, push anything, you know? But... Especially at Riptide, I'm pretty sure there was a double 52, uh, Kensa 52 comp versus an Aeros Ray comp. Double 52 does not work. At all. Whatsoever. Unless if you just mystically make it work. It, like, you, like I'm, I'm sure many of you that are watching this right now may imagine, like, why not? It's literally probably one of, if not the best damage output weapons in the game. Because as I said, its job is to control space. And if you have two people trying to control space together, that's two people probably not playing the game. Especially if you have a backline player. Also, you have a wall. A lot of people in competitive right now, they are running no backline, and a lot of the backline weapons have no bombs. A lot of the frontlining weapons have bombs. So like, if you all just like throw your bomb at it, the wall is gone and they're like down however much percent of their ink tank is left. Especially if they have OS. Object trader. So you think it's uh, anywhere here near here then? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? In my opinion, low maybe, lo definitely low maybe brain cells. Very low maybe brain cells. That still sounds like it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, maybe, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't even care. Maybe it might be like borderline in between, but since we don't have that, we're just gonna not do that. Alright, the majority of that video the, the majority of this video is just literally like me talking about KGAL. Anyway, going on. NSAP 89. Um I don't know. I feel like talking first. Okay. I feel like talking first this time. Okay. Zap, in general, it's a good weapon. You know, it's fine. It has, especially if you have MPU, when you're not jumping, you have less RNG. So, movement speed in general is just, like, really nice on it, especially, uh, how much is missiles on Zap? 180, 190, I think. You have 190 missiles. Add some special charge on that, you're fine. I, you know what, actually, no. It's basically a more aggressive junior. It can paint the map really well. It sh sh spans out uh, special. Your bomb kind of sucks, but it's fine. Missiles and comp, especially, are really good. It kind of just like makes everyone like spread out and like kind of like the you're forcing them to regroup, which will take time eventually. Your bomb sucks. You're basically just a more aggressive uh, junior. Honestly, like you have better like y you have better aggression opportunities to like go up and like shoot stuff. I have no opinion on this weapon, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, I was going to place it anywhere in this area anyway, so it's very good. But we're trying to base this off whether if it's easy yeah, to use or not. Yeah, we're trying to base this off on trying to like, you know, actually, I feel like it's a little average. Really? Considering you do have to have some type of aim when you're shooting with it. Hmm. I can't sure, you're pumping out you're pump you're pumping out missiles, you're painting the map, but when you do have to fight, you do have to have aim. I can't disagree with that. And even Especially then, since I don't RNG know. Is Honestly put it put it wherever you want. You're the master. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here because I feel more comfortable putting it here. <laughs> Fair enough. Blue guys. Definitely somewhere in these areas, 100%. Maybe even yeah. these two. So, alright, I'm gonna have you. I don't think you're gonna have any opinion on this, actually. Well, I, I, where it's gonna I go. only have a little bit. 
My only reason oh. why I would even put it here is because you have to work around the fact that this thing paints like dog water. And definitely, yeah. Unlike that weapon right there that I'm circling around that has wall, this weapon, while it also has wall, you're using it so that you can aim better. You're not using this wall so that you could just protect yourself and almost get a free W, like, sometime. Maybe half the time. But with here, it's like you gotta, like, place it down to make sure you're not dying, like, I don't know, just some other Gluga or something, if you're bad at it. Or right, here's what I'll say. If you're bad at the game, which may be a lot of people, this weapon... Maybe literally one of the last weapons to play. So it's like, definitely. so I feel like it's like definitely somewhere in around this, more the bottom. Yeah. Um, its job is literally Kgal. <laughs> I'm gonna be 100 percent real. Really? <laughs> its job is literally Kgal, but you're giving up uh less. You're giving up less paint for more range. So yeah, as you said, you're supposed to like uh, revolve it around like more painting specials or no, not painting specials. I mean, yeah, that, but like painting weapons. But its job is literally the same as Kegel, except you have more range. And also you have to aim more because your shots are less, a lot less spread out. Unless... Not to mention you also have a survivability special. Oh yeah, baller. So I'd say probably requires skill at least. But mainly because it's uh, it's RNG is a lot less spread out whenever you do dodge roll. I see. Anyways, Nautilus. I keep forgetting what <sighs> number it is. It's like 79, 40 something. Four, 47 is the silver one, and 79 is the. That okay, one. so the 79. Anyways, one with suction and inkjet. Yes. Probably the best Nautilus in the game, according to like everyone. Yes. Where does this go? Because I legitimately do not know where this goes, actually, in this tier <laughs> list of easy weapons. Um, I'd say average, middle, at least. Literally average. Considering, um, you have, you have, okay, the reason why it's not higher is because you have inkjet, and as we said before, that requires brain cells to, to use. True. But and it also has like no RNG whenever you do, whenever you're shooting. But it you can hold your charge, unlike any other spotlight. Like you can hold your charge when you go into the. Which how do I explain this? You, it gives you a lot more time to just aim at your target and also move up against them. Uh, on uh, like on. Uh, unlike any other spelling where you're kind of just like peeking something to shoot at them. Which most of the time you're probably not even going to have enough range because, well, yeah. Like I feel like you cover more like area with Nautilus compared to any other spelling because you can move with a charge. I see. Especially if you have pain. Which is, well, yeah. Alright, well what about custom explosion? <sighs> no opinion? No? None? Nothing? I... I don't know, because on one hand, I could definitely see aspects that make me think it's here. But on the other hand, it's definitely not here because you get in a firefight, right? You have to get out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way. And more time if you're a if you're a brain dead player, you're gonna die. Obviously. If you're if you're True. this if you're this guy right here, you're gonna die. But it's just because you're not this guy. You have to actually back up. So, but at the same time, there's some aspects of it that make me think it has one or two qualifications to be here, and one of them is the way it paints. And the fact that it has so much range that it almost feels like the weapon alone walls out everyone. Not, well, not literally, but like a hefty Depends on what map you are, honestly. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm thinking, let's give an example. Black belly. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So I feel like in most situations, it's probably like here, maybe. Do you have any I'd opinion? Probably, I'd say probably requires skill, especially because when you're shooting, when you're like slushing it, and you hit something over the wall, you have no idea where next you're gonna be shooting, which requires you to. Uh, use your map to then see where they are and then like kind of just like 
<laughs> aim exactly like the angle where they are to oh. kill them. Okay. And you don't know that because you're shooting over a wall. Now the other explosion, I feel like it would go at the uh, you are cool, smart, and skillful because uh, custom has a survivability special, and you have like, and you can survive like just, just better, <laughs> just better in general. <laughs> I feel like the vanilla one is like a lot more paint based because bubbles can paint, sprinkler can bait, a uh, paint. And Explosure itself can paint at a long distance whenever you're, it explodes on the ground. I see. I mean, I can definitely see that. So, and I don't even have an opinion on the regular one, so yeah, I'm just gonna roll with it. <laughs> Alright, 96 Deco? 96 Deco. I don't I think know. you definitely have more experience with this weapon. I maybe. do. And I want to say, the Deco in particular is super close to being here because of... The kit it has but at the same time because of the kit you're kind of forced to play defensive in a way splash on i feel like with this weapon in particular is more used to just protect yourself because you don't need to use splashdown with this weapon honestly you just need to just use it as a way of just get ink tank make everyone who doesn't have range stay the frick back maybe and then just you know throw out wall unlike this weapon throw out wall maybe get a w this weapon throw out wall, make everyone go away, so that way you can go away. It's one of those like, do you want to play defensive? Or do you even think you're even anywhere up here? Oh boy, um... <laughs> what, are you gonna say something like, I'm entirely different? Deco. Honestly, I think it's job, it, like, especially the Deco, is literally, again, Kegel's job, except you're giving up less, like, less paint and for more range well, and also less mobility. I mean, part of that is, is that uh, this weapon, I feel like, actually has, like, really decent paint. Not K-Gal paint, but, like, better paint than Shop okay, Pro you know, or something. Fair, fair you know. The only fair thing enough. I, the only thing it just doesn't have is, uh, the drop RNG can be, like, really wankity, but I feel like it's, like, literally well, the same that's thing as- you don't jump. Yeah, and I feel like it's literally the same thing as k -Gal. The only exception is the fact that it has, uh, a really slow fire rate. And it, it, a matter of fact, I think this might actually be, like, the slowest fire rate weapon out of all main shooter weapons, so... But again, I feel like this yeah. has some qualifications to be here. But for the most part, one, it might be here. One thing that I do want to point out is that, especially on 96, your first two shots in, like whenever you're holding the button, they have perfect RNG. That is true. So you can get a lot, like, I don't think 52 has it, at least I don't think so. I don't. I think 52 has it like with only the first shot or something. I can't remember. I don't know, but I know that 96 has something like that, especially with the first two shots. And it is in fact a, like a two shot weapon. One thing that does set it back though, is it's special, but it that doesn't make it like completely useless. It's just a nice niche for you to be able to, like, cancel Bomb Rush, or cancel Bubbles, or cancel Booyah. Or just live longer in general. Just slightly longer, depending on what you're doing. So, I think... <sighs> average, especially if you genuinely know how to use it. Considering uh, it does have perfect RNG on the first two shots. I would- if it didn't have perfect RNG on the first two shots, I would put it probably one lower, but... Yeah. Okay. It's my thing. Vanilla jet sculpture. No idea where this goes. It's like average. I could definitely see it. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Like all you do, like especially, let's talk about the main weapon itself. Jet. It has like no RNG, but it's extremely weak. Like you require four shots, and unlike the custom version, you don't have a bomb. Uh, but you can pump out missiles, which is nicer but you you do require some aim especially since you don't have bombs cc i got nothing i got no input on it so you know and plus this is your video anyway on my channel <laughs> luna blaster it, the one with splat bomb and baller no idea what this goes and unlike the other blasters where i would go on my way and say they're like probably down here this one's the faster fire rate one, which I say it's, it's like- It's definitely higher. Yeah, it's definitely somewhere up here. It's blast radius, 
is freaking huge. It's Jupiter sized. <laughs> it's actually huge. And you also have a bunch of like. You have abilities like Ninja Squid and like sub power that you can use to get to be able to get closer or like make sure that they like move back. I guess. Especially sub power on short shorter range weapons, it's really nice to be able to like bomb spam them. Yeah, you get the idea. Yeah. <clears throat> but like where would it be here? Luna? Here or here? I actually don't know. It does have a survivability special, but Again, it's blast radius is huge, so I think maybe like high maybe turn on your brain. Okay, high maybe turn on your brain would be like the lower end of here then. Yeah. Anyways, ball point nouveau. Oh, I got a horn. <laughs> As you know, probably, hopefully, I am. I I I mean, I'm. I, yeah, I mean that. So. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> try to make it as, <laughs> try to concise it as small as possible, but but without got being you. too, you know. Got you. Got you. Bullet point. As you all know, hopefully, it has its long range mode, which has pretty much no RNG without jumping, which requires you to have aim. But it also have its it also has its short range mode, which is a little brain dead. But it also has rain, which you can use that strategically, but it just, it's really situational. Honestly, it's really, really situational. Plus you have beacons, you kind of just put those all over the map. So I'd say probably requires skill. High, high, high probably, high probably. All right. As because, as only because, only because you have the long range mode and you have yeah. like no RNG. So much I despise this weapon, I gotta agree. Anyways, this... <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> Convince me otherwise. Why should I put this here? It requires aim. Do you know how much RNG this thing has? No, actually. It has absolutely none. <laughs> it has absolutely none. You require aim for at least a direct shot. If you're going, if you're like, if you're like a really good machine player, let's say you play it perfectly. You're gonna hit directs pretty much all the time. Directs are, at least on this thing, they, they don't one hit, but they damage you at least a, like, a lot. Kind of. I don't know how much exact damage it does, but like, you know, it does damage. So, hmm. Alright, before you continue, let me bring up an argument with as a question. What if, what if we take into a factor of... Aiming does not require brain power. How would it not? <laughs> some people- I don't know, I am very positive some people can aim without turning their brain on. And I don't know about you, but I swear to god, this weapon shows it off the most. <laughs> Let's not forget this weapon oh, has freaking god. brain dead fizzy bomb. Aren't all fizzy bomb weapons like that though? There's only four- Other than- think, Other than Gluga. The entire game. Other than Gluga. And that's a high maybe other than Gluga, wherever that other one is. Kensa yeah. Machine just for me is just like, this weapon shows off a lot of qualities that like want to make me put it right here. And specifically, Kensa Machine. If it wasn't for the Fizzy Bomb, I would be like, okay, yeah, I'll put it right here. But for the Fizzy, let's, along with its- take into account though, it has Splashdown. I, I'd say high maybe turn on you. Until maybe I find high. a reason to disagree with you, fine. Also. I love <laughs> you literally. I, I like I. You know. You remember when I said Luna was high? Um, high maybe turn off your brain. Yeah. Why is it at the end? What do you mean? <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. So I said Kashin is high maybe turn off your brain. I oh. also said Luna is high turn off your brain. I heard. Yeah, these are friends. <laughs> I actually <laughs> thought I heard <laughs> low, like the low end. I could have sworn I heard. Okay, well, I'll just put it right here. Since I still after, like this. after after you did set it though, you did say like high is like towards like the low like the more right end. I and did. then you immediately put ballpoint at like the at like whenever I said high probably requires skill, you put ballpoint at the left. Like let's just keep it to like the the high 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 to low is left to right. Let's just keep it at that. Just so like for you know, knowing sake. You ever just confuse yourself sometimes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway, Neo Luna. Uh, I don't know actually. It's still got the. It's bad. Yeah. It's still got the brain dead, like, you know, blast radius, but like. 
it's, you... it's, it's main weapon is still Luna, but its kit is absolutely trash. You don't have a bomb. You have suction bomb launch, which is cool, but that That's doesn't- cool, but like, you're, you don't always have that. Yeah, and which means you and literally you have, have no range. I- like, hmm. You have ink mines. How does that in any way help its weapon? Exactly. It might literally be one of those things where you somehow have to strategically figure out how to use mines to your advantage. That's what somehow. I try and do in turf whenever I use it, and it's, honestly, it's just bad. I kind of just place mines everywhere. I want to place it here solely because it's bad, but at the same time, that doesn't mean it's... That doesn't okay, but mean it's, it's... Its main weapon is still... Yeah. Like, its main weapon. So I'd say probably... Um... L okay, lower low, end, low, higher end. I gotta remember that. Low, low, literally average. Its main weapon is still its main weapon, but its kit is absolute trash. And you have to somehow work a way around it. Okay, I gotta, re yes. gotta remember. Right side is the lower end. If you don't remember, <laughs> I'll remember for you. It's fine. Okay. Oh, whoops. Hence the charger. <laughs> the actually, let's get the sculpt one just in case. Where is that? Probably should not have separated the scope. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> God dang it. I'll just find it later. It, it, it's right there. It's right on the top, right next to Blaster. Oh. Anyways, Kensa Charger. I, I have a weird. Definitely on the lower side. I have a weird thing for charge because on one hand, I'm bad at the game, which also means I'm bad at chargers. Actually, no, it's not that I'm bad at the game, I'm just bad with every charger in general. So I have a weird thing with thinking that they're, like, down here or something. Except for, like, Bamboo and Squiffer. But, like, okay. what do you think, Mr. Let's I'm actually good at charging? Has, let's take it from the person that has genuine, ex at least a little bit of experience with charging. Yeah. Even though it's not this one, still. <sighs> it's a charger. It, it obviously requires skill. You need to hit shots to do your job. Mm -hmm. But Kensa Charger has the weirdest kit out of all of them. Sprinkler and I think. It's really weird. You can use Sprinkler to like paint up the map a little bit, and ball you can also use Baller to paint up the map, but it's also a survivability special. So it's really weird, and I don't know where to put it, honestly. Because it's a Charger? I'll just put it's, it yeah, it's, somewhere it's down here. It's definitely lower because it's a charger. I feel like the scope requires bullet zone. Slightly more. Considering, <laughs> like, you don't, like, you're, you're, like, you know, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Kensadoolies. They might actually be, like, one of the most average weapons in the whole game now that I think <laughs> about it. Yeah, ever since the one funny nerf. Um. I actually can't remember probably, what that nerf was. I, I don't. I mean, okay. Oh wait, it was the inconsum. It was the inconsumption nerf, I think, right? I I don't remember. I, I think it was, but I wasn't around for that meta. Let's take. Let's let, let's look at its main weapon real quick. Dooley's, you dodge roll. You have perfect RNG. Not to mention you also have MPU to like help with that. And you don't need a lot a, a lot of it to get max. In, uh, like actually no, I actually don't know how much. I think it's like. Actually, just one AP point or ability point after splash. I think it's like two mains and four subs perfectly. That's what I thought. Um, yeah, it's uh, yeah. You also do have MPU for max, so you have a survivability special, which is why Kenzabilis is probably the best one out of all of them. Especially since you're playing so aggro, aggressive. Um, that's why a lot of Kenzabilis players uh, use. At least back in the day, they used comeback because they would die a lot. So, yeah, I'd say it's average. So I thought, Pencil Luna, definitely over here somewhere because it had <laughs> actually <laughs> definitely here. Maybe I feel like yeah, I feel like it's right next to Luna on that side. The only reason is it's higher because Busy Bob. <laughs> Busy Bob, like it has so much pressure. It has. You can actually paint with only Fizzy Bomb alone. Not I, to mention, you also have Last Ditch Effort, which helps with that major leap. Yeah. And sub power. So, honestly, yeah, and rain. So, 